First you're going to knit the front placket edges and then you're going to hold each placket edge up to the needles to determine how many needles are in the placket edge. Do this to the front right and left placket edges. Take the smaller of the two and that's how many needles you'll make each placket. That way that they're, they'll be both the same. Then you're going to hang the end stitch of the placket edge. So I'm taking up the full stitch, not just bars. You're going to hang it on the needles. Make sure that you don't stretch it out. You want to ease it in all the way across. Wrong side facing you. Then at two tensions looser than the main tension, you're going to knit one row. That's going to mark the row so that it's easy to pick up when we hang the hem. Then you're going to turn it to the main tension and we're going to knit half of the rows for the band. Our band is going to be six rows, so we're going to knit three. One, two, three. We're going to mark the buttonholes. See, we knitted halfway because the buttonholes are in the halfway point of the band. So we'll do three stitch buttonholes. I'm going to pull out the three stitches where I'm going to start the first one. You normally start the end ones two or three stitches from the end. And I'm going to do that um, for both sides so we have two of them, two buttonholes for this example so we can see it twice going through the process of the technique. If you need more buttonholes, you'll just space them evenly throughout. I'm going to take a ravel cord and manually knit through each of the buttonhole stitches with the ravel cord. You can use the same ravel cord for all the buttonholes. I just manually knitted that through. Then you knit the second half of this side. So that would be three rows. One, two, three, two, tensions looser to do a loose row to mark the edge, the fold of the band, and then back to the main tension, knit three rows, one, two, three. We're on the back side of the band and we have knit to the buttonhole part. So that's why we only did three rows just like we did before. And we're ready to finish off the buttonholes and then we'll continue knitting the rest of the band and hang a hem. So, you want to write down the stitches that you did the buttonholes on. You can follow it vertically up, but sometimes when you're doing several buttonholes, it's easier just to write the number down. And then if you look at the ravel cord part, there are one, two, three, four loops on top of the ravel cord in the main yarn. Underneath there's one, two, three. Our buttonhole was three stitches, that's why there's three on the bottom. You always have one extra on the top, so one, two, three, four. What you're going to do is you're going to start going right to left, take the very first one that's on the very far right, it's the very far right of the ravel cord, hang that on the first buttonhole needle, keep that stitch that you just hung in the hook of the needle. The stitch that was already on the needle is behind the latch and knit it through. Now transfer that to the needle to the left, the second needle or in our case the middle needle for our buttonhole. Then we're going to go going left, right to left. You can pick up the next top part of the buttonhole that we marked. It's above the ravel cord. We did the very right one. Now we're going to the second from the right. You put that in the hook of this needle and the stitch that we transferred over is behind the latch and the stitch that was originally on the needle is behind the latch and we knit that new one that we just hung through both of those. Transfer what's over on that needle to the needle, the next needle on the left which would happen to be our last stitch for the buttonhole because we only have three. Then you pick the next one on the top. This one's three from the right edge because we did one, two, three. We're going to put that in the hook of the needle of, for the buttonhole. The stitch that we transferred over is behind the latch. The original stitch on the needle is behind the latch and you knit the new one through both of the old ones. Transfer that stitch over to the right. Then hang up, hang the very um, top part of the main yarn above the ravel cord, the one all the way to the left, it's our very last one, four. 
hang that in the hook of this needle and then the stitch we transferred over is behind the latch and the original stitch on the needle is behind the latch and we're going to knit this new one through and that finishes it off. Essentially what you did was a manual bind off. Now we have three empty needles and that is for our three buttonholes. We have three stitches at the bottom of the ravel cord. We're going to hang those on the three empty needles. And that will close our buttonhole on the top part and the bottom part. So let's go through this process one more time. We'll go with the next one. Above the ravel cord, there are one, two, three, four loops in the main yarn. Underneath, there are three. We're going to take, uh, starting with the loops above the ravel cord, take the very right one, put it on the right needle of the buttonhole. We have three, so I pulled them out slightly so I know exactly where they are. This loop we just hung on the needle is in the hook. The original stitch on the needle is behind the latch. We knit it through. Transfer that over one needle to the left. Pick up the next one on the top, which would be second from the left of the ravel cord there. That goes in the hook. The stitch we transferred from that right needle is behind the latch. The original stitch on the needle is behind the latch. The new one we just hung, we knit that through two of them. Transfer that stitch over one needle to the left. Hang the next one on the top part of the ravel cord. It's the third one from the right edge. It's the third time we're hanging. That stays in the hook of the needle. The stitch we transferred from that needle to the right is behind the latch. The original stitch is behind the latch and you knit it through. Transfer this over one needle to the left and we only have one more bar on the or one more stitch above the ravel cord. It's on the very far left. It's the last one. Hang that on that needle. Stays in the hook. The stitch we transferred over is behind the latch. The original stitch on the needle is behind the latch and you knit it through. We have three empty needles for our three buttonhole stitches. We have three stitches below the ravel cord. We're going to hang those on those empty needles to close the bottom of the buttonhole. See, it's really simple. That's all there is to making a tailored buttonhole. Now I'm going to knit the last half of the band. That's three rows. One, two, three. And I'm ready to hang a hem to close it up. So I'm going to hang the very first row that we knitted. It's the loose row, that's how we marked it. Just hang the stitches. If you're making a band without buttonholes, you would just skip the buttonhole part. For our case here, for the band that will have the button sewn on, we will hang on the placket edge. We will knit one row at a loose tension, six rows at the main tension, one row at a loose tension, six rows at the main tension, hang a hem, and then bind off. And it's going to look a little funny how I'm doing it on this machine, the bind off. This machine is a plastic machine and I wanted to use it because the needles are big and the stitches are big so it's easier for you to see this technique. But there's no gate pegs or gate posts on this machine so I'm going to bind off around the needles. If you're using a machine, most likely a metal bed machine, It'll have gate posts or gate pegs, so you don't need to do this. You can just disregard this. And we're almost done here. Cut our yarn. Let me just pull this off of the needles. Okay. And there's our band with the two buttonholes. You can see the ravel cord still in there. What I like to do is you can take your double eye tool. It makes it really easy. I, I have the one prong tool I'll just use here. It, to set the stitches, just go above the buttonhole and below the buttonhole. That way we can set the stitches on the band. Okay. And all we need to do now is just pull out the ravel cord. So let me pull that out and then you can see the buttonholes. There you go. Nice and tailored.